Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton, administrator of the Clark County Museum, and I want to welcome you out to the museum again. One of the things that happens at the Clark County Museum is we're always getting new artifacts into the collection. Now we're careful, we only accept those that really help with the ongoing effort to interpret the West here. But when we get new pieces in, we often have this case in the lobby where you can see some of the new things that have come into the collection. This case changes out once a month. There's new things to be seen each time. This is kind of an interesting grouping. We had a very nice early hat from a uh, uniform. We actually got the entire uniform for an early stewardess for United Airlines. Um, some photographs in this one. This was uh, selling bonds during World War II. Uh, a lot of material from the Honor Guard from the local American Legion a set of belt buckles from the National Finals Rodeo, even down to some really interesting sunglasses. Uh, but they're very much time period pieces. So we were looking, we're always looking for different pieces. We always like to show the kinds of things that come into the museum. But this last month we got one piece that I really want to show you because it is a spectacular new piece for the museum. This was acquired by the Museum Guild. And we have it over here. We won't be showing it this way. You won't see it in the lobby this way. But this is the first map to show Las Vegas. This is the first map. It was actually printed in 1845. It was drawn by a man named Charles Preuss. He was born in Germany in 1803. He was a cartographer who'd come to the United States had gotten involved with the uh, United States government doing mapping, cartography is the science of doing maps. And then in 1842, he became involved with John Charles Fremont in his exploring expeditions in the West. And Charles Preuss's maps are the most important ones from this early exploring period in the West. His work was so detailed and so correct that he changed cartography in the Western United States. And this particular map is one that we really did want in the collection because it is in fact the first time that Vegas showed up on the map. Now Vegas wasn't a name, a locative name, it was a descriptive name. Vegas means meadow and it referred to an area, which we now think of as the Vegas Valley, that had a lot of water and had a lot of greenery. It was a very unusual area in the desert. And so as they were talking about the route that they had followed, they actually, and you can see actually on the map, where they actually put down the Virgin River and Vegas. And Vegas was actually referencing this area where we live today, where Las Vegas, Henderson, Clark County, all of that, that's what we have today. Now we have maps that show all of our area now, show the 8,000 square miles of Clark County, but that's not the sort of thing that we think about when we think about the Old West. This kind of map was what was actually carried by people trying to make it to the West because there was nothing else available. You didn't have road maps, you didn't have grids and that. This is what you would have had to follow if you were trying to find your way out to California from the east. And so it is a very important acquisition. We're very pleased to have it. Our Museum Guild, which is a membership organization that supports the Clark County Museum, acquired it for us and gave it to the museum in December. So this is a new piece. We're going to have some conservation work done on it and then frame it. And you will eventually see it on display here at the museum, but we're proud enough of it. We wanted to show it off this time. Now remember, we're open seven days a week, nine to 4.30. It's only $2 a head. It is the best bargain in the Vegas Valley. So please come out and join us.